Greetings Sabre fans. Got a pretty cool Sabre here. This Sabre is going to be for sale. This is a Corbanth DV6 V1. It takes a 7 inch, 7 8 inch blade. And this one is equipped with a lot of stock Custom Works components. Number one, it has a stock Custom Works lit emitter uh, with a NeoPixel adapter. But this one also has a stock Custom Works full crystal reveal chassis. When you take the bottom of the hilt off, there's your stock Custom Works chassis. Got brass accents here and at the tip of the of the crystal. This is a real quartz crystal. This saber also is equipped with a 2.1 millimeter recharge port here because the battery is not changeable. It also has an on-off switch. This is the hatch on the stock chassis, which is magnetic. And you can see you have access to your profi and your SD card there. You can put the magnetic hatch back on. And let's go ahead and power on the Sabre. I've added a lot of accent NeoPixels on this Sabre. This Sabre actually has four blades, which is one of the more complex Sabres that I've ever built. So when we power it on, you'll be able to see the blades. So I have a crystal chamber, which is one blade. Then I have these NeoPixel accents going down the side of the chassis, which are another blade. Then we also have the 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 stock adapter which is blade 3 and then the actual neo pixel blade which is blade 4. When you activate the saber the crystal stays on solid and let me go ahead and initiate a lockup. You can see the accents go in the lockup as well as the crystal. When you turn the saber off the crystal chamber pulses, which you can see the crystal chamber pulsing here, and the accents do their thing, which is a different phase than they are when the saber is ignited. This is a really awesome chassis system. <clears throat> now, the, the hatch is magnetic, and I did this because this is actually supposed to have uh, two brass pins, two brass uh, rods there, and those brass rods just weren't holding on this lid very well. So I actually added these magnets here and here, and magnet, magnetic material inside the hatch, so the hatch goes on. And the hatch is on fairly loosely, however, um, it does stay on very good. These are neodymium magnets, so they're rare earth magnets, and they stay on just fine. This Sabre is equipped with a Smuggler's Outpost 28mm speaker and of course it has the 2.1mm recharge port. It also has an on-off switch here which you can turn the Sabre off by turning that switch to the off position. To charge this Sabre you take your 2.1mm 3.7 volt charger and plug it into the Sabre there and then once the charger is plugged into the saber, you plug the charger into the wall. Once your charger indicates that the battery is fully charged, usually with a green light, the first thing you do is unplug the charger from the wall and then remove the charging plug from the saber. To power on the saber, we simply turn the switch to on. Then we put our lower hilt back on the saber. This Sabre it is coming with a NeoPixel illuminated blade plug. So when you ignite the Sabre, the blade plug is illuminated. <clears throat> Let's go to the awesome video of this Sabre in action. This Sabre is awesome. Greetings Sabre fans. What I have here is a DV6 with stock lit NeoPixel connectors and a stock chassis. This Sabre is going to be for sale and the price will be listed in the details on the bottom of the video. And the Sabre can include a blade. I've already built a blade for the Sabre, so if you need to build a blade, if you need a blade, I've got one already built for you that I can ship off with the Sabre. 
price for the saber and blade is down in the detail section of the video. Let's roll this thing. First off, this saber has a lot of special features and I want to go through them right now for you. Every Darth Vader blade on this saber and the Kylo Ren blade on this saber all have special features and I'm going to show you what those special features are now. So number one, uh, Number one, we can ignite the saber with a twist or retract with a twist. Or you can ignite the saber with the button or retract with the button. Power button. There we go. Ignite. First feature I want to show you is localized lockup. Localized lockup is it goes with the angle of the saber. It moves with the angle of the saber. If you're up, it's down. If you're down, it goes to the tip of the blade. That's pretty cool. Second, you got lightning block by double tapping and holding power. There's your lightning block on your Darth Vader blade, which that's awesome. You have stab. And then the cool part is you also have melt. So you stab and press power. There we go. And when you have stab on and press power, you can change the color and intensity of the melt by twisting the hilt. You also have tip drag by holding ox while the saber is pointing down. Only the tip illuminates. Which you can also use that for melt, but it's not user controllable with a twist. That's your tip illuminate. Blasters, every every preset has blaster effects and force effects. Every preset also has music. This one has the hallway scene from Rogue One Vader where you're in the movie basically. This saber also does multi-blast by press and holding. It's a double tap of aux and hold. Every time you swing the saber, it triggers a blast. Like you're blocking rebels. To get out of multi-blast, press and hold. Now we're not blasting, but now we can, you know, cut through the door. And we're retracting the saber. Next preset. Hmm. The first preset is father. This was the first one and I skipped it. This is the first preset. Father. By Kyber Phonics. Flashing your saber. Four sounds. Blasters. Lockup. And he has in lock on his lockups. And this one has the emitter cooldown. Second font I've already showed you, which is uh, Kasis Cross Guard. Next one, Kasis Cross Guard. Localized lockup, which is responsive, has all the responsive stuff you've seen. Blaster blocks, four sounds. Next preset. It's a white blade with a green lockup. Blue blade with a cool power up feature. Red blade with a lead. Watch that lead. That's awesome. It's another red with a different power up. Blue. Oops. 
Cantina with Rainbow Blade. Cantina 2 to a Rainbow Blade. shows that you're almost fully charged and the soundtrack on battery meter is the Mandalorian theme. If you're going to store the lightsaber, store it in the Rainbow Blade preset. Um, that Rainbow Blade preset doesn't have any accent LEDs or anything going in the off behavior. Uh, so if you store it in the Rainbow Blade, you can store it without turning it off. Otherwise, make sure you turn your saber off. It will remember whichever preset you turn it off in. So if you're going to turn it off, put it back on the first preset, which is Vader Father by Kyber Fauna. And then you can turn it off. And it's got the, the blade cooldown feature effect. Pretty awesome. This is an awesome saber. Let's roll that instruction. Now that you've seen this saber and all its awesome capabilities, I want to show you how the button functions work. Number one, when the saber is turned on but it's an idle like it is now, the saber is not ignited, there are numerous functions we can do when the power is off. The first one is to press and hold auxiliary, which there are two buttons on this saber. This is auxiliary, this is power. Press and hold auxiliary until you hear voltage readout. 4.08 volts. 4.08 volts, that shows a full charge. The next thing we can do when the power is off, you can twist the saber to turn it on and twist is back and forth, back and forth. You can also twist to turn it off. Or you can press power to turn it on. Oops. Power. Press and hold power to turn it off. Or you can twist to turn it off. The other feature when you're in the idle mode like you are now is the volume on the fly menu. To adjust the volume, press and hold aux for two seconds. One, two. You're now in the volume menu. Power increases volume. When you're at full volume, you will hear that separate tone. That means you're in full volume. To reduce volume, you press aux, and you can actually hear the volume reducing on the saber. When you hear that tone, you're at full reduce volume. Increase volume. If you're ever hearing these beeps and the saber's off, the way to get out of this mode is two second press on aux. One, two, we're out of there. Now, the last function you can do while the saber is off is each preset has a soundtrack on it. To initiate the soundtrack, you press and hold power for two seconds. One, two, it initiates our soundtrack. You can also initiate the saber while the soundtrack is playing. Clash. Turn the soundtrack off. Two second press on power. One, two. Soundtrack's off. Sorry, that is, these sabers are loud. You can also initiate the saber in mute by press and holding. You're going to double tap power, but on the second tap, you're going to hold it. One, two. Now the saber is ignited, but it's in mute mode. So it is running, and everything works in there, but it's, it's in mute. Turn it off, press and hold until it turns off. Oop. To advance to your next preset, press aux. Be careful not to choke on kill them all. White. Blue. Red. This part is over. Red. I won't. That is all the saber features except for. Oh, here we go. Now let's talk about when the saber is on.
And when the saber is on, you have a ton of features. Number one, um, let's reduce the volume a little bit. Be careful not to choke on your aspirations, director. So you guys can hear me. Number one, to ignite the saber, you can either twist it, and now it's ignited. Now, to get lock up, you press and hold auxiliary. To get tip drag, you press and hold auxiliary while the saber's pointing down. To clash the saber, simply clash the saber blade on something, it will clash. This one also has stab. It also has melt. So if you press and hold power while you stab, you get melt. While you're on melt, you can twist the saber to get different colors. This one also has lightning lockup. To get lightning lockup, it's a double tap on power, but you're pressing and holding on the second tap. One, two. Now we've got lightning block going. Lightning block will continue until you release power. To get a force sound, double tap, power, and you get a force sound. To turn off the saber, you can press and hold power until the saber turns off or give it a twist, and a twist is a back and forth. Back and forth. Quickly. Back and forth. That's your uh, gesture activation and gesture retraction. Both twist. Those are all of the instructions for your DV6, Josh. I hope you like this thing. It's an awesome saber. When you store this saber, you should store it in the rainbow blade. Put it on the rainbow blade, ignite the saber, retract the saber, and you can store it long term. Or these hilts are so easy to remove the, the back from to get to the switch. I highly suggest if you're going to store this thing you know, up on the shelf in the long term, you go ahead and remove the, the aft of the, of the saber and go ahead and turn your saber off. And when you turn your saber off for long-term storage, you won't have any battery drain issues. But if you leave it on, please leave it on on the rainbow blade because there are no accent pixels going when the rainbow blade is running. It's a good um, battery saving feature that I've made for you. If you have any questions, of course, you can email me or call me. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and may the force be with you, or the dark side as it were.